when people hear my grandmother's story, I would like for them to walk through their own lives feeling uplifted, feeling brave, feeling beautiful, and feeling strong. Dr. Elizabeth Catlett, a woman who not just broke racial and cultural barriers as a proud African-American and Mexican-American, but also someone who had something to say. So she made her voice heard through something just as powerful, her art. Catlett is an unsung hero through the art world, focusing on racial equality, social justice, and most importantly, change. As the granddaughter of slaves and growing up in a segregated society, Catlett faced many challenges throughout her life. Despite these challenges, Catlett was still able to pursue her passion for art and become a highly respected artist, educator, and activist. Catlett's works were very powerful, filled with so much deep meaning and so many stories behind them, all centered on the struggles and triumphs of people of color. Fighting for voice, Dr. Elizabeth Catlett made a huge impact using her art as a tool to advocate for civil rights and social justice, fighting for voice and visibility to marginalized people. Despite her profound impact on art and activism, she is often overlooked in both fields. Her work, however, was a powerful commentary on the struggles of people of color during a time of great social upheaval. Someone who did so much shouldn't be forgotten. Elizabeth Catlett's life should be explored. Her lasting legacy should be remembered. There should be more. Her story should not go unrecognized, as she is a true unsung hero. You know, I, I wish that a lot more of what she had to say was documented. There's a few different books. There were several stories here and there but the stories that she told were like in, in like incredible it was it's 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 her perspective from after being that lived in her life where she could say those things to me you know and, and give me those stories and the strength and the courage that came behind them one thing i thought about with this website is being able to have that space for grandmothers and grandchildren to do that work and to hold the space for that work um, where it's not something you're having to look through the drawers for and also something that then your children and grandchildren can access. So it is about chronicling these stories. Catlett was born on April 15, 1915 in Washington, D.C. at Freedman's Hospital today known as Howard University Hospital. Catlett grew up in a middle-class family in Washington. At a young age, Catlett knew she wanted to be an artist, and that is what she worked towards. Although she was denied acceptance into an undergraduate program due to her race, she later attended Howard University and graduated with a bachelor's degree in art in 1935. At Howard, Catlett studied design, printmaking, and drawing. She was influenced by the art theories of Alan Locke and James A. Porter. During the mid-1930s, Elizabeth Catlett worked as a muralist for the Federal Art Project for two months. It was then when Catlett took interest in social activism, her biggest influence being social activist, Mexican mural artist, Diego Rivera. In 1939, she received a scholarship to study at the University of Iowa. This is where her shift and focus from painting to sculpture came. This same year, Catlett became the first African-American woman in the entire United States to receive her master's degree in fine arts. During her graduate studies at Iowa, her mentor, Grant Wood, encouraged her to take as her subject what she knew best. Catlett decided at that moment she was going to make people of color, especially women of color, her primary subject. This was her big focus, her motivation, her inspiration to her powerful pieces of art. Throughout her career as an artist, which spread for several decades, 
Catlett used her art for so much good, which included a variety of artistic media, including sculpture, prints, and drawings, which Catlett used to advocate for racial identity, civil rights, women's rights, motherhood, and workers' labor rights. Her works were bold, expressive, and inspiring. Elizabeth Catlett believed that art had the power to inspire and provoke change. Despite her contributions to the art world and social justice movement, Catlett's works were often overlooked in her lifetime as she continued facing discrimination throughout her career. Her work was frequently ignored by main art institutions. However, she continued to create meaningful and impactful art, even through all obstacles she faced. Facing discrimination and living in a time when women, especially women of color, weren't as acknowledged or appreciated. It was difficult for Catlett, although Catlett kept moving forward. Elizabeth Catlett's sculptures mostly feature strong female figures. Catlett used this to represent the strength and resilience of African-American women. As for her prints and lithographs, which represented the everyday lives of African-American and Mexican communities, highlighting their contributions to society and the challenging stereotypes they face. Dr. Elizabeth Gatlett was very involved in the civil rights movement as she used her art to further the cause of social justice. Aside from her artistic career, Catlett was also a member of several civil rights organizations, like the National Association of the Advancement of Colored People and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Catlett also participated in many protests and movements throughout her life. In 1969, Catlett was involved in the March on Washington, and from that came the lithograph print she created of civil rights leader Malcolm X. Catlett made many contributions to the civil rights movement, both with her art and activism. She was a strong fighter, and despite all the challenges she faced, she continued on fighting for civil rights in the United States. Elizabeth Catlett's work has always been overshadowed, but having made so much meaningful and powerful art, it's clear Catlett has made great contributions to art history. Today, Catlett's work is groundbreaking, and her influence on the art world cannot be overstressed. She was the first black woman to receive a Master of Fine Arts degree from the University of Iowa, and was a member of the Black Arts Movement, which went out to create art that was solely political and connected to black liberation struggles. Her work has been exhibited in museums and galleries around the world, and she received numerous awards and honors throughout her career. In addition to her artistic contributions, Catlett was also a dedicated educator and mentor. She taught at several universities in both the United States and Mexico. Here, she inspired generations of young artists to use their creative talents for so much more, such as social change. She also helped establish art programs for underprivileged youth, providing them with access to art education and opportunities to pursue their passions. From sculptures to lithograph prints, Catlett broke barriers and made history, not only in the art world, but in a time of need for fighting against unfair and unequal laws. I, myself, and people like yourself as well, Angel, are the living embodiment of the legacy that my grandmother, Dr. Elizabeth Catlett, left behind. She fought to give voice and visibility to marginalized people, not only in the United States where she was from, but also in Mexico and in Latin America where she became a citizen. Um, my grandmother, ultimately, because of her life experiences, had to become a citizen of the world. And she fought very hard due to her life experiences to really give voice and visibility to people that were 
normally unseen and unheard. So I think that there is a great amount of depth, gravity, and brilliance that her life shined on the world through her artistic expression, through her creativity. Despite her many accomplishments, Catlett remains an unsung hero in both the art world and the civil rights movement. Her contributions to both fields were profound and continue to inspire today. Her work serves as a powerful reminder of the struggles and triumphs of colored citizens, and her dedication to social justice serves as an inspiration to future generations. Catlett's legacy continues to inspire and empower others to use their talents and voice to make a difference in the world because everyone deserves to be heard and everyone has the power to make change. It is important that we remember and celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Elizabeth Catlett, an artist to some, an activist for many, but a true unsung hero to all.